What up, Casey here with Living Youthful. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, please hit that subscribe button. So today we're jumping into an updated video on BPC-157 and TB-500, otherwise known as thymosin beta-4. Why I'm jumping back into this, because I have new dosages and new protocols that are gonna be very beneficial for people with acute tears slash soft tissue injuries, as well as chronic pain. In my previous video, I only touched point on 500 micrograms to 1000 micrograms. Now finding out people that are going into surgery are people that have major injuries can research 2000 micrograms to really turbocharge the healing process, overall speed it up. We're also gonna be going over the peptide calculator, so that way you get accurate dosage for maximum results. Let's get into it. Acute tears or soft tissue injuries encompass a variety of conditions that affect the muscles, tendons, ligaments, and other connective tissues. Common types include sprains. These involve the stretching or tearing of ligaments that commonly occur in the wrists, ankles, and knees. Strains. This refers to muscles or tendon damage often occurring in the hamstring at the back of the leg. Tendonitis. An irritation or inflammation of tendon caused by overuse. Over time, tiny stresses and tears cause the tendon to flare up. The bursa are tiny sacs between soft tissue and bones cushion the shoulder, elbow, knee, hip, and heel. Similar to tendonitis, small stresses over time can cause inflammation and swelling in the bursa. Dislocations. A joint can become dislocated from the body after a fall or other impact. This is especially common in contact sports such as football. The best protocol for these acute tear soft tissue injuries is going to be 1,000 micrograms for one to three months of each peptide. That's going to be 1,000 micrograms of BPC-157 and 1,000 micrograms of TB-500. You can do this every single day with no breaks. It is best to split the dosage. So we can do 500 in the morning, 500 in the evening. If you guys do have a weird schedule where you're up all night, at just 10 to 12 hour window in between injections is the most important thing. We don't have to be fasted when we're researching these peptides. So you don't have to be on an empty stomach like GH peptides. Take these peptides until you feel that you're recovered, all right? You don't need to stay on these peptides for that long. Just once you're recovered, if the injury is taking longer, then you can research for two to three months total. Next, jump into surgery, okay? So surgeries. We can start these peptides three to five days before. Sooner the better. Five days is gonna be better than three days. And if we are researching these peptides before our surgery, pre-surgery, we can do one to two milligrams. 1,000 micrograms equals one milligram, 2,000 micrograms equals two milligrams. If you guys are researching two milligrams, I'd recommend doing one milligram in the morning, one milligram in the evening, and that's gonna turbocharge the healing process. And it's gonna be the same post. So for seven to 14 days, you can research one to two milligrams still. Three to five days before, and seven to 14 days after, staying on one to two milligrams. You're gonna get crazy benefits from that. Splitting the dosage. If you're doing two milligrams, one milligram in the morning, one milligram in the evening. If you're doing one milligram or 1,000 micrograms, then you can do 500 micrograms in the morning, 500 micrograms in the evening. These peptides are taking longer to heal the injury, then you can stay on at 1,000 micrograms for another two to four weeks and see how the injury heals up or that little bit of wounded tissue that still needs repair. Now, with that being said, let's jump into chronic pain. What is chronic pain? Chronic pain is a long-standing pain that persists beyond the usual recovery period or occurs along with a chronic health condition such as arthritis. It may be on or off or continuous. It may affect people to the point where they can't work, eat properly, take part in physical activity, or enjoy life. Let's jump into the protocol for chronic pain. It's a six month protocol. For the first three months, we could research 1,000 micrograms every single day with no breaks. And then for the last three months, we taper down to 500 micrograms every single day. So six months in total, First three months at 1,000 micrograms or one milligram every single day, tapering down at 500 micrograms every day for the last three months. So last protocol, but very important. Let's jump into the anti-aging protocol and dosages, the benefits of BPC-157. So strengthens the immune system, gastrointestinal healing, enhances cognitive function, can reduce the risk of injury, and improves joint health. So the gastrointestinal healing is your GI tract or your gut health. So that's very important. 
And as you see, it does help reduce the risk of injury as joint health. So this is still gonna be beneficial and help with inflammation throughout our whole body. The anti-aging benefits of TB500, otherwise known as thymosin beta-4, hair growth benefits, cardiovascular and heart health, brain health and cognitive function, enhance your mobility and flexibility, quicker recovery from training. The anti-aging protocol is 500 micrograms every single day for four to six months, taking no breaks. 500 micrograms every single day, just one injection a day is gonna be fine. You don't have to worry about splitting the dosage. That just makes things harder anyway sometimes, but 500 micrograms and one dosage is gonna be very beneficial. I'm finding out after doing extensive research with these peptides, BPC-157 or TB-500 do not cause oversaturation like a GH peptide. So we can stay on these peptides longer and not have to worry about that. while you are getting the anti-aging benefits. Inflammation is through the whole body. So doing 500 micrograms is really gonna bring that inflammation down. So it's actually great for skin, it's great for hair, it's great for many things on the inside that are gonna help us look better on the outside. That's the protocol for the anti-aging. Like I said, four to six months, every single day, no breaks. 500 micrograms of each peptide. Real quick, let's just go into the peptide calculator. So let's just start off with the blend, the five by five blend of BPC-157 and TB-500. This is our peptidecalc.com. This is my favorite one, this is the beta. Go to one ml, which is right here, and then you're gonna go to five milligram, all right? Even though there's two different compounds in this vial, at five milligram, it doesn't equal 10 milligram. So when you do reconstitute these peptides, when you extract, you get 500 micrograms or 1,000 micrograms of each peptide. All right, it's not splitting the dosage equaling that amount. So that's where that's five by five vial. But this doesn't really matter. All that matters is how many doses are in the vial and I'm gonna break that down for you, okay? We're gonna go to five milligram. If you guys are researching 1000 micrograms, I would put in one ml and then we come down to other and then we're gonna punch in 1000. That's gonna tell us to pull to the 20 mark. All right, so if we're researching 1000 micrograms out of this vial, then that's five doses. 20 times five equals 100. This is 100 units, one ml. So you can see right here, five doses if you put in one ml right here, okay? So let's say you wanna split the dosage. You can just go to 500 micrograms and pull to the 10 mark. But some people do like to put in two ml and then that's gonna bring it back to the 20 mark and then that's gonna equal 10 doses at 500 micrograms. 10 doses at 500 micrograms or five doses at one milligram. Now let's say we wanna go 2000 micrograms and we put one ml, we can see that one vial is only gonna last two and a half days. 1000 micrograms is five days. If we're doing the same vial, we're doing 2000 micrograms, that's gonna be half the time. So that's only gonna be two and a half doses. So it's gonna take us six vials a month if we're researching 1,000 micrograms a day. So from there, you guys can break that up. We're only staying on 1,000 micrograms one to three months. Six times three if you're doing three months, 18 vials. Now if we're doing 2,000 micrograms a day, you guys can see that vial is only gonna last two and a half days. So you guys can do the math on there. If we're researching 500 micrograms a day, at the either end of our chronic pain protocol or at the anti-aging protocol, it will take three vials a month. So one vial lasts 10 days, 10 times three equals 30 days, right? So that will be three vials at 500 micrograms. That's gonna be a much cheaper protocol for the anti-aging, but if you guys do have any type of acute tears slash soft tissue injuries or damage, as well as chronic pain, then you're definitely gonna to wanna to bump up that dosage. Bump, bump me up! So that's the peptide calculator, and it still works the same if you have a five milligram vial, then you just punch in five milligrams, and it's gonna be the exact same thing. That's that, I hope I did it justice. If you guys are interested in researching other peptides, definitely check out my channel. I have some great videos on there that are gonna be very informative. I wanted to say it's taking a little bit longer. I always try to get the messages in 24 hours, no more than 24 hours. It's been taking me a little bit more like two days now 
And if it does take two days or even over 24 hours, I'm so sorry. I appreciate the patience, but I will get back to you. All right, I'm trying my best. I really care about getting you guys some good information as well as helping you out. And with that being said, this is Casey with Living Youthful. If my video has brought you guys value, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.